be honest, it was a bit of a roundabout kind of way. Um, straight after A-levels I went into veterinary nursing and I qualified and worked in a clinic for four and a half years. I was just, I've always been interested in animals um, and always wanted to help animals on a whole. But um, I think after four and a half years I realised it just wasn't quite enough in looking at what was you know, going on around me in the natural environment. I really wanted to kind of I don't know, feel like I was making more of a difference um, in terms of nature and conservation. So I went back and did a degree in environmental biology um, and I followed that with a master's in wild animal biology with the aim of actually getting into conservation, direct conservation um, and ecology. Um, and I've now just completed my first year of my PhD on um, amphibian disease and ecology. So looking at the population level effects of disease um, within high altitude species of amphibians in the Pyrenees. Well, I've got another two and a half years of my PhD to go. Um, ideally, I want to get into conservation policy, I think, long term. I really want to be able to influence decisions, um, governmental decisions, not necessarily within amphibians, but um, just in general. Um, but looking at most of the policy jobs, um, they seem to need PhD level qualifications. So um, within my PhD, I'm, I'm getting involved in a lot of um, local work as well, especially within the, PH, um, within the Pyrenees, to um, increase awareness of the disease and to actually work with the community to see if they can you know, do anything to reduce the spread of the disease and, and this kind of stuff. So I'm kind of trying to direct my PhD um, to give me more qualifications to, to work in policy long term. Perfect. I think you've got to have a passion anyway to start with. Um, I personally did a lot of voluntary work um, and got to know people through my voluntary work. I volunteered a lot for, well I started off volunteering for the RSPCA, but I volunteered a bit for Natural England. I volunteered for the Institute of Zoology um, and I did a bit of voluntary work for various other organisations and I met so many people that way. Um, and I think if you can show them that you're really enthusiastic about this then it's incredible what opportunities people can give you and hints and tips from all of the many people you meet. So definitely as much voluntary work as you can.